Hello everyone, Yellow Ranger here, and we are playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Uh, we just finished a puzzle back that direction, and in fact, before we move on, I want to let you know uh, a couple of things before we actually get there, but I am in my apartment and it's very dark in here, so even though the music got mysteriously happier, uh, I'm so ready to get spooked out. The body is still there. So there's an area up here. We never went up this way. So there's definitely something or an area this way. I want to investigate what's over here. Oh... The music got all creepy again. I'm slightly worried. Is the game gonna try and kill me? Like it did before? Game? Please don't try to kill me. Oh goodness. I tried a few things optimizing the uh... Hello? I definitely heard something in my left ear then. Oh god, I hope the game doesn't try to kill me. Hello? Oh my god, it stopped making the noise when I had stopped moving, but now that I'm moving, it's making more and more noise. Is this just a different way to get around here? Oh gosh, I hope so. Let's just check to see if I can see the, uh, the train. Oh god, I don't want to walk through the bushes. Can I see the train over here? I can. Okay. So this is just like a back area behind the train. Which is cool and will be investigated further if need be. But for now, I guess we'll just move on. Because I didn't see anything uh, jumping out at me over there. So. Hello train. I am ready for more spookiness. I didn't like walking in the woods actually. The woods seem to be Largely dangerous. Can I touch that? No. That was brightly colored. It made me think that I could touch it. But I guess that's not the case. I did try to do some uh, video optimization for this. Because uh, I noticed that it was a little bit uh, silly last time. But you guys let me know if it looks silly still or not. And I will adjust accordingly. Oh! Oh! Hello, what's going on here? Apparently some kind of very small logging things going on. So the train would go here. So perhaps it would have started here and then gone over there and then there was a, a rock slide perhaps uh, that caused the ability for Ethan to be strapped to that area over there and have it be kind of secretive. Let's see. What time is it? 7.05. I imagine that's 7.05 a.m.? I don't know if that's the time now or if that's just where the time stopped when that clock broke. Is there things around here to investigate? I almost feel like I need to go back into the woods because this is definitely a different, like, separate area from before. And I do not want to miss anything. Uh, the woods are spooky, though. Hello, woods. Okay, so uh, there was nothing back in the forest. I did check it out, and it would just spooked me out, and nothing happened. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and keep following the road. And hopefully we'll find a new puzzle to solve, which I'm excited about doing. I actually, I'm excited about doing it, but I'm kind of hoping that there's not too many more murders that have happened. Because uh, that would be just a little bit, a little bit foreboding. A um, little bit foreboding for the, the town that we're headed to. And I would also be worried about Ethan at that point. Uh, like why things just keep getting no murdered. trains have oh. been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. 
beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Oh man. So I'm guessing that is where we're going to, which is good because I'm getting kind of sick of trains. <laughs> Let's make it to that bridge. I hope that Ethan is over there. This town looks strikingly small, if that's the town. I'm actually thinking and hoping that that's not the town and that's just like some kind of visitor entryway thing. I also think I've been trying a little bit too hard to find all the puzzles when really the game just wants you to go into town. Oh, look at this. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Hello. He said no trains had come in and out of here for a long time, right? So I have to worry about getting run over by a train. Can I go in here? Is that a thing I can do? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Ah, <sighs> okay. This is a beautiful place to be. I'm, I'm really very much enjoying how... I'm really very much enjoying how gorgeous this game is. It's fall. It's very pretty here. I'm also really hoping that I didn't miss... Oh, no, there's much more. There's more of the town that way. Look. That is a very nice uh, house down there. It looks like I'm on a dam, <laughs> which is fun, I guess. We came in from that away. It's weird. It feels like it's really far away, even though we haven't really spent very much time yet playing this game. Just like a quick half hour. I don't know how long the game actually is, but I'm sure it's much longer than it is now. And with the, it looks like when I get across this bridge, the complexity of the uh, area is going to increase, so the puzzles may actually be harder. I don't know... I mean, I think that first puzzle was like a tutorial puzzle, and it was pretty easy on purpose. So, oh my god, look at that. It looks like a photo. It definitely looks like a photo. Alright, it looks like there's an area I can get down by the water over there. So we'll have to see if we need to do any more water checking. Because so I did have to check by the water before. Look at this. Oh, gosh. This one over here is just a bit more dilapidated. Uh, I had a little bit of an audio thing that was weird there. Let's see. Whoop. I see a flashing red light. There. We'll have to see what that is later as well. Hello, Ethan? Ethan, I really hope that's not your house. I guess maybe we check this house first. It is the first house that we came upon. Uh, kind of. Ooh. Of course, there was the room that they were talking about before. I wonder which one of these houses has that room. Uh, this place looks run down. Let's see what we can see here. Hello? I'm not trying to intrude. I'm just trying to find Ethan. Do you have any idea where Ethan is? Hello? Uh-oh. Hello? Ooh, it's real quiet in here. Oh. Read. How do I read it? There we go. To invoke the boneless one? Hold on. Invoke? Alright, there's nothing on the back. To evoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds, hear me. Great Minister Falcor, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Algon, Tetragram, Vachion, 
or this is not okay this is a different language now but a a uh, adone is in caps can i oh oh yeah adone adone i feel like i should write that down almost um let me get something to write it down with. I'm actually grabbing paper and pen. It's been a long time since I played a video game that I need paper and pen for. Adane. All right. And then I will get rid of the text. And then I kind of want to put some kind of bit of that symbol. X. Triangly bits in a circle. Yep. Kind of a crossy thing in a circle. All right. Okay. Put back. Whoa. Uh, that door was not like that before. I am curious though. Can we go this way first? Hello? I don't know if we can go. Oh, we can. So there's deception and deceit at this place. And they only the ones that are able to tell the difference between the deceit and the not deceit are allowed to pass, I suppose, or allowed or allowed to pass or allowed to know what the truth is. So we arrived at this really dilapidated thing and uh, we got a note. Uh, these doors changed and are weird now. I'm a little bit worried about the deception though. I don't think that I want to go through that door. Um, but that door didn't activate until I looked at that and I did take down the Adonate clue. Oh. Okay, we've done it. I went through the door. That is another spooky door. Another spooky door. What's upstairs? I want to be, I don't want to miss anything anywhere. Like, if there's a certain area that holds a specific clue, I want to make sure that I get it. So that if I need to put clues together to figure out where I need to go, I will at least know them. Alright, so here's the attic. Is there anything up here I need to pay attention to? It doesn't look like it. Alright. I want to go in the top of the attic. I don't know... Attics creep me the fuck out, so I don't really want to go in the attic. But the music is kind of not leading me to think that it's, this is going to be spooky. Swap. Um, I can change where I'm going? There's books here again. I want to figure this out. Hello? No, those books didn't give me any information. What about here? Oh, goodness. There's nothing. Shit, there's nothing here. Crap. Okay. Nothing to investigate. Oh! I cleared that. I can clear. I can clear. Okay. Breach and clear! Uh, no. Oh, this is weird. I don't know which door to go in. Let's try, uh, let's try this one. Hello? These must be... Oh? What's that? That's a thing. That's different. Can I swap this one? Am I supposed to be able to tell? Okay, that's the attic. 
Let's try this one. Okay. Not attic. This is working. Alright. Uh, that was the stairs. Oh, that was red! That was wrong! I did that one wrong. Can I go back? No. That one was red. That means I did that one wrong. Okay. Um... I'm not in the attic. No. Shit. What does this one have? No. No, that was the other room. That's the first floor. I'm not on the first floor yet. Oh! I was wrong again. Shit! I don't know. I don't know. I was wrong again. Oh, this is the first door! I just reset it. I just reset it! Okay. That's interesting. That's a good puzzle. That's a good puzzle. I am gonna... I want to do the puzzle. I want to figure it out. Okay. I think that for now, uh, seeing as how we made it to the town and this is the only thing that I've done so far... Um, I'm gonna walk around a little bit, see if there's clues. I do not think that there is probably any clues. Um, so, I will stop the episode here for now. And if you liked this, and you want me to keep slamming my head against a wall, trying to figure out how the interior of this house actually works, JR, let me know. Uh, and give me some love by clicking the like button. And... I will go through here and fix the crap out of this house and figure out what is hidden in here. I do not know what is hidden. I know that there is some kind of summoning or invoking that has happened, and that's kind of creepy, but I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Bye!